Hello everybody, welcome back to the Mega Modded Minecraft, where today I'm hoping we can do a little bit of redecorating in the Nether Forge. Probably could use some diorite. I kind of think some stone bricks would work. So I'm going to go ahead and start smelting down a few stacks of these bricks here. Because we don't want it to be a seared stone bricks. Because if it's seared stone bricks, then I think the game might start to get confused on what's the actual... On what's the actual uh, forge? Oh, there's a Galarian slowpub over there, and apparently a zombie somewhere over here. Should probably investigate where the zombie is. I think it's underneath the ground here. Yep, it's probably down here somewhere. All right, so let's head back over to here. Alright, so, basically, today's going to be a whole episode on redecoration for the Nether Forge. Alright, and we're charging up the uh, quintuple battery, which actually is doing surprisingly well. Alright, I'm not sure if I can use it to charge this, no. Alright, well, that's going to get us 32 stone, which is enough for about 32 stone bricks. So we're going to let those solar power cook away. Alright, so let's head on in there and start breaking down some of the walls. Because I've realized we don't really have a lot of things that spawn and actually try to break our house. You know, like the ghasts. But if I make it so it's like you know, stone brick on the inside, it really shouldn't hurt. As long as I coat the outside and cobble. Alright, so let's head over here to Lava Party. Looking nice as always. Did we have anything going in here? No. Alright. So I, should, I probably should have grabbed something for scaffolding. Just some easily breakable block to use here. I could probably collect some of this netherrack here and use that. Just because netherrack is always one of those super easy to break. Alright. So basically i got to make a ring around here so I can actually you know, stand, stand on the edge here and actually break all the stuff that we need to break. And then I'll go ahead and build up with the stone bricks. Alright, so we've already got a little pocket to the outside here. I'm not going to care about the corners here. Corners can stay netherrack. I'm not sure how much we actually have. Like, able... How far we're able to go with all this right now. The amount of cobble that we have. Alright, so let's make sure we're right on track here. Alright. And through here, I'm going to have to use my pickaxe, because all of these are mineable blocks with the, what do you call it, with the hammer. Alright, so from here, we should be able to start going around the outside again. And then go ahead and fill in with the stone bricks. And all i got to do is repeat this over and over. And probably repair my hammer here once in a while. Oh, and we got some ores in the middle here. What ore is this? Is this sanguinite? Well, apparently it's nothing. Oh, what was it? Nope. Alright. Then I got the corner right there that I'm gonna spare. Alright. Dig up that, and dig up here. I'm gonna get all this. All right, this. Sh I think it's still filling up with lava. Right? Yeah, I think it just moved a little. All right, stone brick time. It's gonna start from over here, so we can just gonna make a nice layer of the bricks. Alrighty. 
And then after we're done here, I'm probably just going to go ahead and cake the outside in, you know, cobble. So even if we did come across something, it probably can't hurt us. Alright, I'm definitely going to need a lot more cobblestone for this. A lot more smelted stone. So, what I'm going to do is probably going to work on something else for today now that I'm thinking about it. Because it's going to take a while to get that much cobble smelted. Especially since I don't think that's in a loaded chunk. So I should probably move it over here. I'll get that sorted out in a minute. But I do also want to get the... Uh, that's right. We're going to upgrade the hatchet as well. So it's going to choose what we're going to make the hatchet out of. Mithril... Pretty okay. Silver or calcum, rubricarium. No, it's rubracium. Hmm. Uh, we want it to be strong, but we don't really want to use up all of our good materials. So let me grab my book here and check and see what we got. Because mithril pretty high up there, but doesn't get an extra thing. Actually, if I was to make a mithril head and then get some night slime for a natural... Ooh, that could be really good. So, I think we should get some night slime then. That. Night... No. Night slime. So we need to make it first, which is seared stone, molten iron, and purple slime. So we need to find some purple slime, then. I think we found an island for that at some point. Let's go ahead and toss all that in there. Um, let me think. Where... Where have I seen purple slime before? There's some purple trees. But the purple slime... Oh, it's over here. Okay. What waypoints do we have over there? Monument, Poké Center, and then we go... North. Is there any ones closer to a waypoint? So I don't gotta go so far. Mossy Rock. That was the halfway checkpoint. Trench and Mineshaft. No, I'm not seeing any over there. So it looks like we gotta go to Monument Poké Center and go straight north. Alright. Wilmer, you ready to rock? Cause that's not north. This is north. Ow, ow, ow. Alright. North. Valley Forest. At least, it was the right way they were going, right? Okay, so it's not straight north. It's a little bit uh, northwest here. So let's uh, go this way. And we should get there by nightfall. Because uh, it's already sunset time. Alright. Looking here, we got some raids over here to the right. And there's a big oil thing right there in front of me. Should probably swerve to avoid that. There's another one of those uh, swift strike towers. Nice. I didn't bring a torch. There should be some in here, though. I remember I camped out in here uh, last time, I think, right? Alright, so let's uh, get on in. There should be at least a torch for me to pick up, right? I thought that that was the way around. <laughs> uh, we got a stick with knockback, carpets, and all that. Alright, please supply me with a torch. Otherwise, this is going to get uh, real awkward real quick. Alright, I see light coming from up here. It must... Yep, torch. I shall claim the mighty torch. You know what? I'll claim this too. 
You're coming with me. Got a bunch of swords, which I don't quite care for. Yep, I've already been here. And then open this up a little bit more. Uh, let's not jump off the edge here. Actually, we can. Wilmer will help us land in the water. Let's go. All right. There's a trap bench over here. How fun. Alrighty, so let's uncross this here. I just realized, how exactly am I going to get up there? Uh, da -da. I'm just now realizing I don't really have a way up there. So, what I'm going to do here... Oh, wait, do we have sugar cane at all? Oh, new material, if I'm not mistaken. Let's just nab a whole butt ton of sand. Alright. Should be easy with the excavator. Ooh, lag spike. Alright. It shouldn't be more than 64 blocks in the sky, so we should be good now. Though, again, I'm not sure of just how high up in the sky it is. So, there is always the issue of what if it is higher than what I currently have. Well, then, I'm just going to have to drop down and try to try to get some more blocks. Alright, so we're passing under. No, we're not passing under. No, are we? Oh, that zombie's... Oh, I thought it had armor on. Nope. The normal, regular old zombie. I think it was this way, right? Let me check the map. Yeah, it's on the other side of this little crescent area. So let's go around. Oh, cool, a magic carp boat. I could probably pop in there to get some more food quickly. All right, let's go and park up here. See if I haven't already looted this thing. Hello? Nope. Completely unlooted. I'm gonna take all the raw fish and clownfish that you got here. For the sole fact that I really don't need anything else from here. I'll take the Nevermelt Ice, the jewels, and the pearls. But to be honest, those big rods just take up like too much of my inventory space. So. Let's just take everything but the fishing rods. Mystique water. Oh. Let's go ahead and pick up all of this. And we should probably toss it all into the storage bag now that we've gone and emptied it last episode. So it should be fresh on space. Maybe I should make some sort of indicator on how much space is left in the bag. Hmm. That could work. Alright, so let's toss all these in. Alright, so scroll. Don't know why the scroll isn't moving. I guess it's because they already got the gems in there. That is good. Whoa. Let's go on ahead and zip out of here. There's a zombie over this way, it looks like. Nope. Alright. So where is... This... Alright. So we've got to continue this way. And I think we're almost there. I think the hardest part's going to be getting up to that area. Alright. Where is it? Looks like we're coming up on the island now. And there's the purple island. Which means now we just got to get up there. And kind of see it through the fog. 
I should probably grab a few more stable blocks that aren't sand. There's a zombie right there. Hello, hello. It's one with the shadow iron armor. Hi there. Why did it like lurch forward at me? Oh. Okay, well. We just got into where we need to go. And plop. Alright, so these are steadily smelting. So let's uh, quickly use the fast travel to get back there. Haha. -ha. Ow. Why did it... The blindness didn't even work. Why is it hurting me? Why did I go up in flames? What? Okay, I have zero clue on how that one worked, but uh. Hmm. So what is umbral synthesis? Hmm. Okay. But anyways, let's grab some of this dirt that's up here and start making our way up there. There's a skeleton over here. Take care of them first. Alright. So we should should be on the okay to go on ahead and just go straight up there. I'll probably waypoint up there just to make an easy way back if we need to come back. But let's go ahead and put that back in the inventory. And yeah, we should have to pillar over a few blocks. That was when I kind of wish I had a flying Pokemon already. But I don't have one yet. I should probably catch a Swallow and just try to level it up. Alright, so how far are we? Not very far. There's that dirt. And let's pull her across. Alright. So this is what we need. I think... Yeah, shovels are the best of it. So we can start smelting all this to turn this all into night slime. Wow, this takes fast. Alright. So with that done, let's go ahead and chop down uh, one of these slime trees. Because it could be very helpful to have back at base. Oh, they stopped it from being actually counted as a tree. Okay. We should be able to get a sapling from here. Right? Yep, there we go. And I got a bunch of the slimy dirt, so we should be good. Hmm? Oh. This stuff's really bouncy. Alright, well... There's a lot of the congealed stuff here. But I'm just gonna... Alright, let me dig. Thank you. There we go. Getting a bunch of this stuff here. Alright. Now let's head back. I'm gonna remove this and name this... Purple... Is Land. And of course, I'll make the waypoint purple. Let's head back to ship shape and see how the stone is coming around. Doing good. I'm going to take a little bit of this so we can make some of that night slime that we need. So basically, we're going to make a mithril head of the axe with a night slime binder. And... No, let's do an iron handle. I'm gonna put away everything else we're not gonna be using here. Alright. This goes in here. This goes in here. These go over here. And dirt goes in here. Alright. 
And I'll probably drop off the stone bricks in there. But actually, I did need a little bit of cobblestone. So I'm going to take a little bit of this. Because to make night slime, I should probably grab a little bit more iron. Because we need quite a bit. Alright. So let's head and do some forging. Who knows, I may as well make a pickaxe out of the stuff as well. Because basically it makes it so you mine faster the higher level you are compared to, like, whatever's needed. Because, like, you know how you need, you know, a wooden pickaxe to mine stone? Well, basically, if you're using a diamond pickaxe, it'll mine way faster, is basically what it does. So let's put in four blocks of that. See how that works. See how much it gives us. And I grab the X. No. Since this is going to be for the binder, let's go ahead and pull out the binding. And set that down here. And I need to make sure that all these are off. All right, so that's four buckets of the slime. So what was the, so that's a few buckets of stone. Let me try to put in about four blocks worth of stone and toss all this in. Boom, 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 boom. So that's about four blocks worth. Hey, the Shadow Steel actually does repair itself in the darkness here. It's pretty cool. Alright, so that should give just about the same amount. And then I'm going to probably have to mix in, I want to say, four iron ingots. What's oh, the recipe here? So it's about half the iron ingots. Hmm. Let's go on ahead and get about eight at the ready. And you've got the iron to go ahead and mess around with this here. Plus I can always go and get some more. Alright, so once that's done smelting, we should have some night slime that we could use. Alright, just gotta wait for that to smelt up. I could probably go in and smack down some of these stone bricks while waiting. It's also gonna take a minute to alloy everything. Alright. Let's go ahead and slip around the top here. And... Place all this. Do stone bricks also have the same kind of blast resistance as cobble? Especially here in the nether. Alright, so there's all that. Yep, I see the night slime forming. So what ran out was the stone. So we need another four blocks of stone here. And the reason I'm putting them in sets of four is because those are basically... Each one seared stone needs four cobblestone. So, I just put in the equivalent of four blocks. Which should go in and finish everything up nicely. But, we have enough for that night slime now, so let's go ahead and start pouring. Oh, it's already done. Alright. So, there's the night slime binding. And let all that smelt up. I don't think Mithril mixes with anything here. Mix Hadroth, which does look like a really cool ore. Let's just be real. Is there anything good with the stuff here? Ooh. I may just need to make a Hadroth pick at, or a Hadroth axe instead, because this is higher level. Hadroth, Hadrioth, I don't, I don't know. Right, so there's still two buckets in there. So let's go ahead and set this all out again. 
with this. Actually, I could set the whole thing up right here. And then go ahead and grab the Rebrachium. I'm, I'm still getting used to these names. <laughs> Rub Rubrachium. Go ahead and make that Hadroth. Alright, so let's go to the portal home while that's all smelting down. And see if we have any. I think we do. In fact, I'm fairly sure that we do because I was just trying to pronounce the name earlier. And all we need is about two ingots worth. I think. Manganese, Cobalt, yeah, here we go. So we've got all the stuff we need to make insanely powerful tools. I should probably make a pickaxe out of the stuff here as well. Alright, so let's dance on over to here and see what we got to cooking. Since it took just about exactly half, we should have everything good, right? Yep. So let's make a second binding, since we're going to need two. And so how much do we have? We have one block and five ingots. That's going to... that's one, two, three, four, five. Turn the last one here into a block maker. So I had this whole thing set out so I could interchange these for what I needed. So, it's one. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, this stuff cools quickly. Alrighty. So while that's all doing its thing, let's go ahead and alloy some of this. So what's the ratio here? So it's about one mithril to two of this. Since we're going to be making an axe and a pickaxe out of it, let's go ahead and do a little bit of math here. So that's about two to one. We should have everything needed here. And then I can make a iron handle so everything will come to my inventory quicker. Alrighty. Everything's running smoothly. I think the alloying should start as soon as they're done, right? I don't know why I'm looking at Night Slime there. It's going to take a little bit because these ones are some higher level metals. But luckily neither of them mess with iron, I don't think, right? Let me check. So... Reacts with manganese, reacts with bronze, and reacts with gold. So I can go ahead and make my two handles now. I love how big this thing is. It only makes it a lot easier to make mass amounts of stuff. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this ready for handle making. And we should probably have one for each of the tool bits. So there's pickaxe, there's tool rod, and there's axe. So right now the iron should almost be done. Right? Actually, I think everything is almost done. Yeah. Right, so there goes the iron. Let's go ahead and start making those tool rods. And there goes the rubricium. Then Mithril is following suit. Did I put in too much iron? Oh, this only needs one. Okay. Well, then I'm going to take out the rest of the iron there. So this Mithril should be just about done. And boom. Yep. And there we go. Hadroth. Gonna make these two. And we should 
have all the stuff for today's upgrades. And then we've got two extra ingots to spare. I don't think it's got a higher damage than this over here. I probably should have brought my book with me. I'll turn them into ingots for now. If they're any better, then I'll go ahead and swap it uh, next episode. There's a Heatran somewhere. I feel like I'm going to get shot while I'm over here, so I'm going to be very careful. Where is this Heatran? To Drillbur. Hmm. Can't really see it on my mini map. Hmm. Did it spawn in a. No, just had it spawned. Okay. Well, either way, let's go ahead and grab our materials and let's get out of here. Shape shifting metal. That sounds really cool. First of all, I'm going to see where the heck this thing is. Oh, it's over here? Oh. It's over there somewhere? Hmm. Can't really see it. There's an Aeron down there. That's pretty cool. Alright, well let's get home and go ahead and make these tools. And we should be done for the day. I can't wait to see how these tools turn out. The axe should make it a lot easier to, be, to prepare for the next episode. Where I'm going to be trying to get the domes finished. I realize that I've been putting those off for a little while now. Alright, so. Tool station? Yes. Pickaxe. That is Hadroth, Iron Tool Rod, and Night Slime. So that's mining level 6. Not a lot of durability, I'm realizing. I should probably add a diamond to it or something to go ahead and amp that up. Alright, so now that that's done, let's go ahead and add this. And boom. Alrighty. And with that, we have created new materials that I can't wait to see what actually comes of them later. We have two cool new items there. We got a bow, just because. And we got some crazy new tools that will be tested out next episode. So, I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have enjoyed this episode of the Mega Modded Minecraft. And... I'm planning a very regrettable idea of making a VR horror Minecraft series that comes out, hopefully, at some point soon. But, enough on that. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time. Bye, everybody!